In April 2010, the Deepwater Horizon oil spill occurred nearly 50 miles from the shores of the Gulf of Mexico. 11 people died and over 172 million gallons of crude oil entered the water during the spill. By June 2010, more than 88,000 square miles of federal waters were closed to fishing. They remained closed until it could be verified that the waters were free from oil. Federal and state agencies took the lead and began working together to identify ways to reopen waters once test results showed the seafood was safe. If oil was present, the waters remained closed. Some federal waters were closed for up to a year after the spill. A combination of aerial surveys, satellite images, and water quality, sensory, and sophisticated chemical tests were used to ensure seafood safety. In federal waters where no oil was visible, Scientists collected and chemically tested more than 8,000 samples of shrimp, oysters, crabs, and finfish. About half of those samples were first pre-screened for the presence of oil using sensory tests. Sensory testing involved highly trained personnel sniffing raw and cooked seafood. The human nose can detect levels of oil equivalent to a drop or less in a five-gallon bucket, making sensory testing an effective and efficient way to pre-screen for oiled samples. If the smell of oil was detected in the seafood, the fishing area remained closed. Of the thousands of samples pre-screened from federal waters, more than 99% of them passed sensory testing. Samples that passed sensory testing were followed with chemical testing. Specialized machines tested for oil-based compounds, as well as a chemical in the dispersants used by emergency responders to break down the oil into smaller droplets. The machines and techniques were very sensitive and could detect levels equivalent to half a drop of oil or dispersant in a 13,000 gallon tanker truck of water. Oil is a complex mixture of compounds, each with their own properties. Some, though not all of these compounds, are known to cause cancer. However, not one of the chemically analyzed samples came back above the levels of concern set by the US FDA. In fact, the levels detected were hundreds to thousands of times lower or in many cases not even detected at all. These results were further confirmed by independent testing of seafood. Our knowledge of how to assess risk to human health from seafood potentially exposed to oil spills continues to evolve as a result of ongoing research.